Hello and welcome to this special TD Toronto Jazz Festival City of Culture presentation. My name is David Baskin from Jazz FM 91. It's my pleasure to introduce today's performance. With the City of Culture initiative, the Toronto Downtown Jazz is so showcasing Toronto as a cultural destination generally and as a must-see destination for jazz lovers in particular. This series of eight concerts features a different artist in a different venue performing an outstanding cross-section of jazz and jazz-related music, highlighting some of the incredible musicians whose talent is on display here in Toronto every day throughout the year. And on stage at the annual Toronto, TD Toronto Jazz Festival, celebrating its 35th anniversary anniversary in 2022. Today we're broadcasting from the Pilot Tavern, which for more than 75 years has called Yorkville home. In the 1960s, Yorkville was like no other place in Toronto. The Riverboat Coffee House, the Purple Onion, and the Minor Bird became go-to hotspots for top Canadian and international musicians. Joni Mitchell, Carly Simon, Neil Young, Gordon Lightfoot, Simon and Garfunkel, and James Taylor all blazed a trail through the Yorkville neighborhood. Today, Yorkville is a family-friendly destination for food, fashion, and music. The neighborhood has been home to the TD Toronto Jazz Festival since 2017, and the Pilot Tavern has been presenting some of Canada's top jazz musicians for more than 30 years. The City of Culture initiative has been made possible by the generous support of Reconnect Ontario from the Ministry of Heritage, Sport, Tourism, and Culture, Cultural Industries. Toronto Downtown Jazz is also grateful for the continued support of the title sponsor, TD, who have stood by the organization during this challenging time and who have reaffirmed their commitment to supporting live music events across the country. Thanks go as well to our hosts here at The Pilot, along with media partners Jazz FM 91 and the Toronto Star. Today's ensemble is led by one of Canada's best, a legendary drummer and acclaimed educator. He has recorded on more than 300 albums, has performed with the top musicians in Canada and the United States, and has appeared at jazz festivals around the world. He was a founding member of Rob McConnell and the Boss Brass, holding down the drum chair for 25 years, and later a founding member of the Rob McConnell Tintet. He's a Juno Award winner, a Grammy Award nominee, and a member of the Order of Canada. Well loved as a player, a teacher, and a person, it's my pleasure to introduce Terry Clark and this quartet.
Thank you very much to all of you who are listening and watching out there. That, uh, that was, uh, you just heard a tune called Oleo by Sonny Rollins, played by uh, our lovely guitar player, Lauren Lofsky, one of the best in the country, and uh, if not Cumberland Street. <laughs> you own, it's the best, we're the best band, uh, we're the best band on this side of Cumberland in the world. We have Adrian Ferruja on piano, uh, a, 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 a legend in his spare time. <laughs> and Michael Hemmings on the bass. Herring, Herring sorry. <laughs> We've only played a couple of times together. Michael Herring. Um, that was an awful lot of fun to play. Olio. Um, I was just thinking that uh, uh, this is so nice to be able to play after all this time off. And uh, it, I, I keep thinking about all the people that were banging the drums on uh, every Tuesday at 7 o'clock for the first year of this pandemic. And uh, so people are so um, 
so want to hear live music that I think because of that, there's been a resurgence in jazz, uh, specifically because it kind of reminds us of uh, all we have is right now, and this music is uh, basically improvised music. So it's uh, uh, it 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 puts an added uh, intensity to everything that we play, and audiences are coming out absolutely loving to hear live music again, and giving us a lot more uh, uh, interest and a lot more. Um, uh, they 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 they're discovering the music all over again, and uh, anyway, we're just happy to be playing, and everybody's playing with a brand new spirit, and uh, thank you for listening and watching. We're now going to do a beautiful tune by. Herbie Hancock called Dolphin Dance.
That was uh, very nicely played, boys. <laughs> We're going to go ahead and play um, a tune now by Thelonious Monk called Straight No Chaser.
was Lauren Lofsky uh, playing the beautiful Skylark, one of my wife's favorite tunes. Well, who wrote this? Olga Carmichael, yeah. Beautiful. Um, lovely. Uh, we like to play, if we've got enough time, um, a great tune by um, a great trombone player that I got to play with named Frank Rosalino. And uh, from from California, to come up here and play at Bourbon Street. We have a couple of albums actually with Ed Bickert and uh, Don Thompson. And my Frank was a great writer, but he wrote this tune, the Cannibal Latterly, picked up and played uh, on an album called Cannibal at the Lighthouse, with uh, Victor Feldman, Sam Jones, Lewis Hayes, and Cannibal's brother Nat. Anyway, it's a great tune. So it's to waltz that Rob McConnell ended up uh, writing this tune out for the Boss Brass called Blue Daniel. And it's written in 3-4, and um, Rob wrote it in 4-4. Four, four. <laughs> and when we played the coda, the last part was in 3. In case you haven't played that. Uh, so uh, that is our next tune, and, uh, and away we go. Thank you very much. Thank you.
Well, hi again. My name is David Baskin from Jazz FM 91. What a treat we have had here at the Pilot Tavern. A fantastic way to celebrate Toronto's incredible jazz scene. I'd like to thank Lauren Lofsky, Adrian Ferrigia, Michael Herring, and of course the band leader Terry Clark for their incredible contribution to the City of, Tor City of Culture initiative made possible by the generous support of Reconnect Ontario from the Ministry of Heritage, Sport, Tourism, and Culture Industries. Big thanks also to the title sponsor, TD, our host here at the Pilot Tavern, and our media partners, Jazz FM 91 and the Toronto Star. Complete City of Culture information can be found at torontojazz.com, where you can also sign up for the TD Toronto Jazz Festival e-newsletter and find links to their Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter pages. And please remember to support our local musicians. If you've enjoyed today's concert, purchase their music today. Thanks for tuning in, and to wrap up today's performance, it's my pleasure to once again introduce the Terry Clark Quartet.
help from all this? We're okay. We have next. We faded out years ago. We faded out, yeah. Thank you.